Thanks Selfrica University for sponsoring this video. It's your man Alex, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a flawless long hair transformation video. So I'm gonna be cutting one of my friend's long hair, and I'm gonna be giving him a short fringe fade, right? So that modern fringe fade look that a lot of people are going for nowadays. So if you've got long hair and you've been thinking about cutting it off, this is definitely a great video. Or if you're just learning to cut your own hair and you want to start saving some time and money by cutting your hair for free at home, this is also a very, very good video to watch. So using my clippers, I'm putting on the number three guard with the lever open and I'm just going up right around to the part line and debulking his entire head, right? So the goal here is to just debulk and clean up the area underneath so I can go in with the shorter guards to give him a nice fade. And so now that everything's been debulked, I'm going in with the half guard lever open and I'm going to be starting the fade. So with the half guard, I'm only going up about half an inch from his ear and I'm going to be slightly dropping the fade towards the back of his head. Now, also notice how when I'm putting in this guideline, I'm not making an extremely hard line, right? Because I'm not going to be fading in too much. So his hair texture is a certain way where I can go in and lightly flick out as I create the guideline so I don't need to have to go back later on and remove any harsh guidelines. Now with the number one guard lever open, I'm going up half an inch from the previous guideline. Again, making sure that I'm kind of having a gradual flick out motion so I don't dig too much into the hair and create a hard line. And now using the one and a half guard lever open, I'm going in and doing the same exact thing as the previous steps. So I'm going up about half an inch and again, making sure that I'm going up in a way where I'm kind of gradually flicking away from the head. So I'm just cutting any longer hairs that might be pointing outward. And if you're also someone that's got softer, thinner hair, I think cutting your own hair or cutting somebody else's hair like this is definitely a really easy way to cut hair and make the steps very, very simple and not have to take too much time with the haircut. And so now using thinning shear over comb, I'm just gonna be going in and blending in the fade on the sides and back to that longer length of hair by the part line. So if you've noticed when I was fading in the hair, I left a solid inch of hair around the perimeter of his head as a hair by his part line. So with that, it's gonna be creating a really nice shape for the haircut. And I'm just going in now with the thinning shears over comb to blend everything in. And if you're finding value in this video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe for more haircut tutorials. YouTube loves when you guys like and share videos, and it would mean a lot to help me spread the word about home haircuts so others around the world can save money and learn this amazing skill set as well. Before we continue with the video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Self Haircut University. The goal of SHU is to help you overcome your self haircut fears and become an expert self haircutter in less than six months. Learning this skill set will save you one to three thousand dollars per year for the rest of your life. Because we all know barbershops today are getting more and more expensive and taking up too much of our meaningful time. Within 72 hours of joining SHU, I will personally be hosting a coaching call with you directly to discuss a plan of action to get you started on the right track. With over a hundred thousand of followers across all platforms, video testimonials, and 14 years of self haircut experience, there's no better person with more passion than myself to guide you through this self haircut journey. Click the first link in the description to start today. Thank you, Self Haircut University, for sponsoring this video. And so now that the fade is complete, I'm going in now to start cutting the length on top. So using my scissors and my comb, I'm going to be leaving about two and a half to three inches of length in the front by his fringe and I'm gradually gonna be shortening it as I get towards the back to blend everything in to the fade on the sides and back. So I'm giving him about uh, two and a half to three inches in the fringe, 
and then as it leans towards the back it's probably going to end up being about an inch to an inch and a half so you'll see there's going to be a slight like 45 to 60 degree angle from the front to the back So if you're cutting someone's hair like this at home, it's imperative that you're making sure that you're taking your time and you're really focusing on creating the same shape, right? So you want it to be gradually getting shorter from the front to the back so that the front's the longest point and the back's the shortest point. And if you need to go over the work multiple times, definitely double check your work and triple check your work as well. Now for the styling, I ended up using some texturizing powder by Suavecito and some claymation by Hans de Fuco. So the mixture of the two was really good. The texturizing powder definitely makes the hair have a matte, natural look, while the claymation gave it a very, very slight shimmer, right? A little bit of a shine. Um, but I think combining the two was very helpful, especially because when you're going from really long hair to short hair, you're going to need something a little bit stronger like a clay to go in and push the hair down to give you that fringe look. And now going back in with my trimmers, I'm just going to be lining him up to really make the haircut stand out and be that much more clean. But you guys, this is the final look for this flawless, soft and long hair transformation haircut. I've been cutting my own hair for over 14 years now, since I was 13 years old, and I absolutely love teaching others like yourself how to save one to $3,000 per year by learning this amazing skill set. Learning how to cut hair is an amazing opportunity to give yourself more freedom and control of your life. And if time and money is something you want more of, learning how to cut hair is a great way to do it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learned something new. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, as well as check out the links in the description down below to join Self Haircut University. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace!